up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you guys, I am going to be silk pressing my hair. You guys, finally, I've been wanting to do this for literally all winter long, but you guys, I live down south and it does not get cold here, okay? We may get one or two cold fronts throughout the year, but it stays hot pretty consistently. And when we do get a cold front, you guys, it usually comes with some rain. So I've been kind of putting the silk press on the back burner, but finally I was able to do it. I will say you guys are gonna notice that I did cut quite a bit of my hair. I wanna say three to four inches of hair, you guys. But you know, as my hair gets longer and thicker, I like to keep it a little bit past shoulder length. I feel like that's a really good manageable length for me. So that is why I did cut the amount that I did. But other than that, you guys, I'm super excited to have my hair straightened. It's a different look for me. I like to, you know, keep my hair straight at least one week out the year. I will say um, I am gonna start flat ironing my hair a little bit more often. I think maybe every three months or every six months just to see like how it's going because I feel like when my hair is in its natural state, it's a little bit easier to miss damage and breakage and things like that. So I'm gonna flat iron a little bit more often, but whenever I do, I will definitely update you guys. But yeah guys, let's jump right into today's video. Hi guys, so I am back. So I am about to press my hair and I'm so happy. So before I go into like pressing my hair and everything, I do have to dry it and stretch it. So I'm gonna be using my Rev Air dryer to do that. If you guys haven't seen the review that I did using the Rev Air dryer, definitely check the iCards. I will link that above. Also, as far as what's going on with my hair, I did shampoo, condition, and then I did a protein treatment. I used the hair mayonnaise just to give my hair a little bit more strength. And then now, in order to just protect my hair, I'm gonna go in with the IC Fantasia Hair Polisher Heat Protector. This is a straighten and spray. And then I'm also gonna be going in with the Chi Silk Infusion. So yeah guys, let's get right into it. So I am getting ready to go ahead and flat iron my hair. So my flat iron is currently on 410 degrees. If you guys remember my last silk press video, I did use 450 degrees because at that point my hair had never been silk pressed before since doing my big chop February 28th, 2020. So yeah, I am at that two year mark and because I did flat iron my hair before, there's no need for me to go in with 450 because my hair I feel is semi heat trained. So now I'm just gonna go in with 410. So I'm gonna section my hair off into sections so that it's easier for me to press my hair. So I'm gonna take pretty small sections, like that big. Then I'm gonna use my paddle brush to do the chase method. Now 
And then I'm gonna do one pass. And that's it. That's all I need, one pass. Pretty long, right? <laughs> all right, I'm put my glasses on so I can see. Yeah, that looks pretty good, you guys. first section I really like that my ends aren't see-through or anything like that at least so far so yeah guys all right y'all so I just wanted to show you guys a length update can you guys see that so it's past my bra strap now so I don't know if you guys will consider that like mid back length I'm not sure but it's definitely past my bra strap in two years, you guys. That's crazy. But yeah, that is the back. So I'm going to continue and finish this side. And I may come back on camera and do this side for you guys. So stay tuned. All right guys, so I am done pressing my hair. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with the Split Ender Pro. Let me show you guys my hair from the side. guys so I just wanted to interject really quickly right here so even though I did use the split ender pro I still had to go in and do my trim with the scissors I did do an updated review on the split ender pro and I'll be putting that out on Thursday so that you guys can hear my thoughts on it but yeah I still had to do a regular trim even after using the split ender pro So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you guys have any comments about anything that I did in today's video, please be sure to leave those down below. I love interacting with you guys. You guys are so much fun. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. I do post multiple times per week. So definitely turn on your bell so you do not miss an upload from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.